Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. My name is Jordy and I'm here to do a general tarot card reading for the Pisces Collective. These readings are general, so they may or may not resonate with you. If you finally don't fit your story today, I recommend checking out another reading with a title that stands out to you on my home page. This way, there was a reason why you clicked on this video today and it will lead you to a message that you didn't know you were looking for. Uh, we're going to get started by pulling some angel tarot cards just to uh, see what they say. You know, they've got some words written on them and uh, we'll pull a theme for your reading and then we'll move into a 10 card tarot spread using the Smith White deck. So thank you so much for liking, sharing, commenting below and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate all of your love and support, especially the comments. They really, you know, I find them uplifting and encouraging, you know? Uh, okay, let's see what's going on for Pisces. We have the Three of Water. This is a card of celebration. It says a wedding graduation or birth announcement on this card, and it also says the need to have more fun. So this card can represent celebrations, friendships, good times, um, blessings coming through. Ooh, we have two more cards coming out together. They're both major arcana. We have the dreamer, which is the fool card. Uh, it says, take a leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities. So a brand new beginning here is available for you. And it's a blessing, you know, it's a celebration. And that, you know, the universe wants you to have more fun with this blessing. Um, we also have the Emperor card, Archangel Michael. This card says organization and logic, structure and discipline and leadership. So there is a higher calling to uh, whatever this new beginning is for you. Uh, and, and the need for leadership, the need for discipline and order and a, and a plan is what I'm hearing. Um, and with the Fool card and the uh, Emperor card coming out together. Both those major arcana can represent Aries energy. So we could be talking about springtime, March into April time frame. So let's just shuffle the deck and see what's on the bottom. We do have the Page of Cups and the Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like this is talking about a positive outlook coming out of a negative situation. Um, and uh, things getting easier, like realizing that the worst is over and uh, having a, a sense of emotional release is what I'm getting as well. Like you have released a lot of your pent up feelings when it comes to a, a difficult situation you had to go through, a difficult ending, um, something that was very painful. Uh, you seem to have emotional clarity now. So we have the Hierophant reversed. We have the Death card. Scorpio, Taurus energy. We have the Seven of Swords. We have the Chariot card reversed that represents Cancer. We have the Sun card in reverse, which represents Leo. So we have a lot of major arcana today. In the future is the Hermit card, Virgo here. We have the Eight of Cups reverse representing you. We have the Eight of Wands reverse in your environment position. The Page of Cups reverse is back here as your fears and desires. And the Seven of Pentacles is the outcome. We have the Two of Cups reversed underneath the bottom of the deck as the overall energy. This is interesting. So sometimes I do. Uh, muscle testing 
to, you know, get yes or no answers from my spirit guides. And I just asked a yes or no question. Uh, I'm seeing the seven of swords in the middle of the reading. And it sometimes when it's right, when it's very highly aspected in a reading, um, with the eight of wands of verse underneath, it just kind of feels like, uh, someone has like their plans have backfired is what I'm hearing. Someone's plans have backfired. And um, this may have happened recently, and you're going to get news and information and updates about this very shortly, is what I'm hearing. Um, and uh, it's going to cause a major transformation in your life. This person may have um, tried to pull one over you, lie about something. Maybe this person tried to pull something off without you knowing. And th this is definitely an energy of, I'm not so much getting that you're catching them in the act. I'm getting that whatever they tried to do is failing. And that eventually this is going to be known to you as well. Um, so it's still kind of in the background. So something that... Um, has uh, isolated you. I feel like you had to be, you know, rebellious. I feel like the energy is saying that, like, you should, you should rebel against this, you know, fight against this, um, stand up for yourself. Maybe you've done that already, you know? Maybe you've already been the rebel in this dynamic. And, uh, but then you've kind of left it behind. You know, you've kind of walked away from it or you've let it be for now. And in the background, something is, is you know, being sabotaged. Plans are being sabotaged. I don't think it's your plan. I think things were out of your control, so you kind of had to, like, walk away from it for a period of time. But I do see you this coming back around. Um, it's almost as if there was a blessing that you knew was meant for you, for you. Like, there was something that, like, you're very grateful for, something that is a blessing in your life and it it didn't arrive when it was supposed to arrive maybe it got blocked maybe someone sabotaged it in the past maybe there was arguments and fights over this blessing um could have to do with children money uh inheritance is what i'm hearing could have had to do with um a work dynamic Something was kind of meant for you, and then it didn't end up going to you. And then somebody else, uh, you know, is had tried to take on this blessing that was meant for you, and they're realizing they're overwhelmed, they've made mistakes, it's too big for them to handle, and, you know, whether it was the secrecy that was too big for them to handle or whether it was like the responsibilities associated with this blessing. Um, this may have even impacted their health. So this person's running into a dead end, so to speak. And, uh, They may be traveling, moving away, moving out of the picture. We've got cards of travel here and moving forward, moving away. I feel like you've been waiting for this for quite some time. I feel like intuitively and logically you knew that this was going to happen. And... Um, You've gained a lot of wisdom from this process, a lot of patience, and the patience is being rewarded. 
your O composition is the sun reversed and the uh, above, uh, you know, the sun reversed in the past, the distant past, that's the blessing. And then in the O composition is the seven of pentacles. So it's almost as if something has grown since you were supposed to have received or, or, or been given a blessing. So whether it was money, whether it was children that grew, whether it was the opportunity became bigger in work, now it's bigger than it was even before then. And you're the only one who can handle this, who can take on this responsibility, this beautiful blessing that's coming in. And uh, some of you may be very emotionally detached and removed from this situation now, or... Um, I also feel like you, some of you have um, developed a more spiritual perspective on this situation since it first began. I'm just going to let my cat in the room. Come on in, sweetie. Okay. So if we look at the individual card pairings, we have the Hierophant reversed and the Hermit card, both cards of education and spiritual lessons and learning. Um, the Hierophant reversed can talk about rebelling, going against the status quo, breaking down systems of, you know, of organization and rules, breaking rules as well with the Hermit card being here. The Hermit card is a card of integrity and wisdom and, you know, being above a situation, you know, energetically, karmically, um, you took the high road, is what I'm hearing from that card, and uh, walked a different pathway than what you anticipated walking. Uh, but now with the death card and the eight of cups reversed, um, this is an energy of an ending a transform, you know, which brings transformation. And the Eight of Cups can talk about uh, someone realizing that it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the, the lies, the tension, the struggle, the secrecy. And then we have the Seven of Swords and the Eight of Wands reversed. That's when plans are backfire. That's when you don't get the results you're looking for. And uh, this person's walking right into the death card, which is like an ending, a dead end situation. Doesn't mean they're going to die, but um, we do have an energy of like accidents here with the chariot reversed and the death card and the seven of swords. Someone may, may make a, a mistake, you know, and accidentally um, drop the ball, so to speak, in a dynamic. Um, this could involve children with the sun and the page of cups being here. This could involve money. This could involve inheritance, like I was speaking of earlier. Um, something that's been growing over time, maybe even a career pathway with the chariot reversed here. Uh, the chariot reversed and the page of cups reversed is uh, both cancer energy, cancerian energy. Um, Usually I'd look at the chariot reverse as divine detours when plans don't go the right way, which is also further enhancing some of these other channelings I've been getting. Um, the eight of wands underneath the seven of swords to me gives gives off the energy of plans with backfiring. But uh, the chariot reverse can also indicate like that combo with, with the seven of swords. It can work very similarly. Um, so yeah, something didn't go on a straight path. It's almost like your pathway was disrupted and someone tried to, it's like almost like you were driving along and you're about to reach a destination. And at that destination was a blessing in the past. And then, you know, maybe you got in, you know, pulled over by, um, someone on the road 
and uh, you had to stop and pick up a passenger along the way. Maybe you're being nice. Maybe you left the car running while you went to the gas station to get some chocolate bars from the station. At some point, somebody took that vehicle and ran off with it, and you were left stranded is kind of what I'm getting. You were left without that vehicle, without that success or that opportunity to move forward with a blessing, with the sun card being here. So um, someone could literally have stolen your car in the past with some of these cards here, but it's more so of a figure of like, like a metaphor. Someone stole your ability or, you know, took over your ability or, you know, something like that. I'm not, it doesn't have to be theft, so to speak, but it, it just is an energy of um, something didn't go the way it was planned, even by the universe here. But there's definitely, um, with the Page of Cups underneath the, the Chariot reversed, uh, I feel like you have detached emotionally, especially with the Hermit card here and the Eight of Cups reversed, from these, this dynamic, because it could have drove, driven you crazy, you know? You could have been very obsessed over this situation at one point, but you've chosen to let go of that obsession it's turned into patience. It's turned into inquiry and inner inner development for you. Um, and uh, that's where, in the background, um, things were getting bigger and bigger. The responsibility, the blessing was become was growing and growing, just as it was intended to grow. And someone else here can't take on that responsibility anymore. So um, it's being hot potatoed back over to you um, with a little bit more than what you would have gotten in the beginning or a little bit more growth or a little bit more responsibility than before. Um, especially if this is talking about like a, a battle over child children custody, like the children could literally have grown since you've had less, you know, a lot of access to them. So um, that's what I'm getting from this. So this does end in celebration with the Three of Cups being the overall energy. We do have a Fool card, brand new beginning, and we do have an Emperor card which talks about law and order and structure and discipline. And it's almost as if um, roles are being reversed. Someone tried to take control like the Emperor in the past and kicked you off into your own new beginning without whatever, and you, you didn't have any choice. You had to be the fool. You had to start over, start from scratch. Now it's you're entering into your emperor phase where you're the one who's in charge. You're the one who's gonna be taking on the responsibility, taking on the blessing. And the other person here wants just nothing more than to be free of the situation. Um, so it's very interesting. This is a reunion of sorts, a coming back together for a brief period of time. Um, and uh, yeah, I feel like the whole situation is quite disappointing for you, but I do get a sense of gratitude coming from you that this end relief is what I'm hearing, that the situation finally has um, flipped is what I'm hearing. It's not like it's reached a conclusion um, I mean, the death card is here, so I guess we could say that, but it's almost like somebody, you know, took your blessing and went with it, and then that blessing kept growing the whole time, and then now they're giving it to you, or it's being left to you, or they're just dropping it and you can take over, and, um, you know, it's only going to continue to grow for you, Okay. All right, that's what I've got for your reading. Thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you again soon.